Fans around the world have been eagerly awaiting the return of the Chechen Wolf, Hamza Chimaev. One potential fighter who has had a tough time keeping Chimaev's name out of his mouth is the former welterweight champion, Kamaru Uzma. But could we actually see these two powerhouses face off inside the octagon? Join us in this video as we dive into a deep breakdown and discuss what would happen if these two met inside the octagon. Be sure to stick around until the end to get our official prediction. Rumours of a potential fight between Kamara Usman and Hamza Chimaev have been making rounds in the MMA community for several months now. While this means Chimaev would have to stick around at welterweight for a little longer, it could easily be one of the best matchups in the division right now. Following consecutive defeats to Leon Edwards, Usman is in desperate need of a top five win to even be considered a potential title challenger. And the best way to do this would be to beat someone like Chimaev. Considered to be on the path to be a future world champion, Hamzat could be tempted into the bow as this would ultimately secure a title shot for the Swedish based fighter. The pair have called each other out on various platforms over the past few months. But if these two men met inside the UFC's octagon, how would that go down? Could Usman's wrestling cancel out Chimaev's? Could the Chechen-born fighter last five rounds with the powerhouse that is Usman? And who leaves the octagon victorious if these two get matched up? Let's find out. Since his debut back in 2020, Hamza Chimaev has proved he's a force to be reckoned with. During the early part of his UFC career, he earned dominating victories over a handful of fighters. Since then, he has been on an impressive six-fight win streak, earning respectable victories over Gilbert Burns and Lee Jingliang. Most recently, he smashed through Kevin Holland back at UFC 279 in just over two minutes. Unfortunately, Hamzat missed weight for his scheduled fight against Nate Diaz at UFC 279, leading Holland to step in on short notice. This forced the UFC to consider the possibility of moving Hamzat up to the middleweight division. Even though he's currently the number three ranked welterweight and not far from a potential title fight. If Chimaev is serious about becoming a champion, it could be all the motivation he needs to stick around at welterweight and take a fight against someone like Usman. Kamara Usman is a fighter that needs no introduction. The former long-term welterweight champion has been one of the most consistent champions of recent years. He defended his title five times against top competitors such as Colby Covington, Jorge Masvidal, and Gilbert Burns. Usman looked to be within minutes of claiming his sixth title defense at UFC 278 following a dominating performance against Leon Edwards. Yet, with under a minute to go, the challenger finished the champ with a head kick that will be remembered for years to come. In the rematch with now champion Edwards, Usman was unable to get the upper hand and would ultimately lose by a way of unanimous decision back last March. This now left Usman with a problem. While he knew his career wasn't over, he would have to fight a top-ranked opponent if he wanted any chance at another shot at welterweight gold. So, of course, the most obvious answer would be the top-ranked contender, Chimai. But this could also prove to be a career-ending fight for the former champ. As we've all seen it before, once you lose your title and follow this up with a defeat at the hands of a top three contender, it often brings forth a downward spiral that few fighters ever return from. Would this be career suicide for Usman? Or does he have what it takes to end the hype behind Chimaev? Now that we have the backstories of both men, let's break down the strengths and weaknesses of the fighters, starting with Hamza. Strength number one, wrestling. Hamzad's wrestling skills are a force to be reckoned with, and he could undoubtedly give Usman a lot of trouble in grappling department. Hamzad is big for the welterweight division, coming in at over 6 feet 2 inches, ultimately giving him a 2 inch advantage over the former champ. But he also has the strength to match his stature. If we apply his striking confidence to the equation and the fact that Leon Edwards was able to take Usman down, there's no way Hamzad could have controlled the former champ on the ground, the three-time Swedish wrestling champ has proved beyond a doubt that he can utilize the set of skills as well as anyone in the division. Strength number two, striking. 
No one should doubt Hamzad's ability to scrap at this stage of his career. If Jemayev decides to keep the fight on the feet, as we've seen him do against previous opponents, including Gilbert Burns, we know he's got the power in his hands. Six of Hamzad's 11 victories have come by way of knockout, and he's rocked many foes who have shared the octagon with him. But for all of Hamzad's strength, he's only human, and we all have weaknesses. We'll discuss what these are next. Weakness number one. Weight cut. Unfortunately, Hamzad has struggled to get down to 170 in recent fights. Such tough cuts can often negatively affect the fighter's overall physicality in the days leading up to a fight. Weakness number two, a light gas tank. There's no doubt a potential fight against Usman would be a five-rounder, but Jumayev certainly lacks experience in this department. We could certainly see him gas out in the championship rounds, a fact that Usman will be well aware of. Now that we've broken down Hamzad's strengths and weaknesses, let's move on to Usman's. Strength number one. Wrestling. Usman has an array of strengths that help him achieve continuous title defenses. The first and most obvious is his wrestling background. An advantage that could allow him to comfortably take home a win against Hamza. The former champ was a respected freestyle wrestler before his MMA career and throughout his time in the UFC. We've seen him make the use of this skill set. It is likely that during the first few rounds, when the gas tank is still full, he'd be able to stuff most of Hamzad's takedown attempts, or at least put up a much better fight than other opponents the Chechen Wolf has faced off against. On top of this, it's possible Usman could even employ some offensive grappling of his own and control Chimaev in a way none have thus far. Strength number two, striking. Usman's second strength comes from the fact that he is often underrated on the feet. There is a good chance that a fight against Hamza could mirror aspects of his fights against Colby, where both men mentally agreed to hold off on the wrestling. While Usman isn't considered an elite striker, he's certainly got the power in his hands. We've seen what his striking is capable of, with Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington being two prime examples. Both fighters were finished by the way of TKO when they faced off against Usman. While some would suggest the latter were better strikers, Usman is often underrated in this department, and this leads to mistakes that the former champ could capitalize on. Strength number three, experience. Our third and final advantage for Usman is the fact that he simply has more championship round experience. He's fought the best the division has to offer and has been fighting in five rounders for years prior to Hamza joining the UFC. In this time, he's gained patience and understands how to best utilize his gas tank, something we feel Hamza has yet to learn. Considering a potential number one contenders match would likely be five rounds, we would see this as a significant advantage for Usman, one that could ultimately win him the fight. Now that we've discussed Usman's strengths, let's dive into an apparent weakness. Weakness number one, a lack of heart. The former champion has accomplished everything a fighter dreams of. Eventually, the fire burns out, and this could be exactly what happens in a fight against an up-and-comer like Hamza. It may simply come down to who wants it more, and in this case, our bets on Chimaya. So now that we've broken down both fighter strengths and weaknesses, it's time for our official prediction. But before we do that, we hold a monthly shout out on our channel, and all you need to do to enter is comment I subbed in the comments section below. So make sure to comment and you'll be in with a chance of winning. We would have to go with Hamza by a way of knockout in round three. We think Chimaev will come out of the gate with immediate pressure, using his strength to try and bully Usman in the first few rounds, and his constant pressure may take Usman by surprise. While the first few rounds will likely see a lot of grappling exchanges, by round three, we could see Hamzad find a way to overpower the smaller Usman and finish him. The Cheshun has so much strength and fire in his heart, all it would take is one or two well-timed strikes, and he could get Usman on the ground right there where he wants him. And from there, we all know there's no escaping the wolf.